Whether you've been in affiliate marketing for a while and you're looking for a new challenge, or if you're new to affiliate marketing and you're looking for a place to start, local niche sites offer a great place to begin. From SEO and content development to growing a targeted audience, local sites are going to force you to think like a marketer. You can find links to all the software and the programs I mentioned in the video description. So without further ado, let's get started and let's make you some money from a local niche site. So why would you bother with a location-based affiliate site in the first place? But well, they're a great way to target a specific audience and really build up that loyal fan base. You can utilize both organic and local SEO tactics to rank the site. The perfect kind of site to promote via social media. And all in all, you can just build up that highly targeted and relevant audience. So within the affiliate side of my agency, we're constantly experimenting and testing new ideas around local based sites. Our largest site promotes events and nights out in Manchester, and I can tell you with a little bit of effort, this approach definitely does work. The location is in the domain name, and the sites quickly manage to build and maintain a relevant and targeted audience through quality content and social media marketing. So let's get into how it's done. So how are you going to decide on what to target within your location? We'll just start with some simple searches for some basic research. You can do things like events in, things to do in, and location, products and store based searches. Ultimately it's a site that you want to grow and develop so you're going to have to pick a niche that's constantly updated with either products and news which is crucial for fresh content production. A few examples we do at the minute are gigs, nights out, concerts, gyms, hotel deals, there's all sorts. Before you fully commit to the site, you need to check that there's an affiliate program that exists for what you're going to be promoting. I recommend Affiliate Window, so you can just do search around those products and Affiliate Window. Find a link in bio to sign up to there. Uh, check with Ahrefs for search volume to establish if there's actually any popularity around your keywords. Detailed keyword research is key to find those right keywords. The best ones are the ones with local intent and blogs and affiliate sites are already ranking on the first page. So you need to perform your keyword research for desktop and mobile sites. Are those same sites showing for your keywords? If they're not, will they optimize properly with AMP pages? Are they using SEO best practices? You know, this is something that you should be doing from the get-go, so there's no issues there. Are the same sites showing for mid to long tail keyword searches? If not, can you rank for those phrases with your quality content? This is the content that you're going to be focusing on. And check for hashtags and social profiles to see if there's an established audience. You know, make a note of the sites that are showing on the first page. You can use Ahref to analyze the popular content and referring domains. Look at the quality of the links that are coming in to those pieces of content. Can you replicate their content success and reach out to these domains too? You know, use a similar content strategy. Analyze their site structure. Look at their site architecture, menu layout and internal links. And how can you improve this with your site? You want to see if these are the sites that are ranking in the mobile SERPs, if they're AMP optimised, are they responsive? How many times are they posting in a week? What are they posting to social and to their site? What keywords are they targeting? Look at the referring domain quality. Are they using white or black hat tactics? Run their site through Screaming Frog. Analyze their top level SEO. H1's metas, title tags, structured data, schema for local results. Then do a quick speed check on their site as well. You know, start from a basic level with SEO, I like say top level analysis for Screaming Frog, look, have a look at schema and maps for the local SEO, are they optimising for local SEO using local keywords, uh, are they optimised for rich snippets, you know, this is really what you want to be targeting because you can get ahead of these domains with really big domain authority simply because your site is structured better than theirs, uh, are they messing their site up with AdSense, is that slowing their site down? So speed's obviously a key ranking factor and a deciding factor in keeping a visitor to your site. I've put a link in the description to recommended hosting with a WordPress site because you want it as fast and minimal as possible, purely just to monetize it and keep those visitors there. Make sure your logo is responsive because you're going to have a lot of mobile traffic. Have a content plan, and when I say this, I mean that's for weekly content, top level SEO, site structure, categories, and category content pre launch. 
Yeah, so like I say, plan the content, but also plan the content around your categories that the content is going to be placed in within WordPress. Really optimize those categories because those are ones that are going to be being indexed and refreshed, those top level pages. So you need quality content on there. Submit new pages to Search Console, set up your analytics profile, uh, install Yoast for WordPress and get your custom permalink structure sorted. Set up your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and install Schema and AMP for your WordPress. So hopefully you've already done your research around affiliate programs that exist in your niche. So get applying to those programs. 99% of the time you don't have to have your site completely up and running in terms of having a shitload of posts there already. They just need to see there's something there. Might take a couple of days but you will get accepted. Uh, using my example, I just applied to high paying affiliates in the uh, tickets arena. So get me in StubHub, SeatWave, look for the highest paying commission sites and go for them. So going off my example with what I do with these new local sites, I'll make some massive posts like an ultimate guide or a big list post, nice bit of structured content, I test the waters with social, get sharing them, gauge the audience interest, how do they react to certain bits of content. If you're pushing pure affiliate links, make sure you use Bitly to shorten those links. You want to be looking at a minimum of three posts a week and consider a newsletter option even initially just so it's there in the future. So now I'm just going to outline the key areas that I focus on when I'm launching, creating content and promoting these new local affiliate sites. So social is so good for these kind of sites because you can get massive exposure and the people that are giving you that exposure don't even realise it. So with my sites, with the Nights Out sites and the gig sites, uh, I use Bitly on Twitter and Instagram to shorten the affiliate links. Then I'll tag the artists and the venues, they'll retweet it without realising. There's then a 7% commission and a 30 day cookie on those links. Nine times out of ten, people end up purchasing. Boom. So like I said, once the site's launched, I like to focus on ultimate event guides, what's on guides, and um, really push events through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram stories recently have been doing really well, so check those out, if you, especially if you're doing events posts, and local targeted posts for mobile searches, and it's all about just testing, 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 trial your on-page SEO, trial your content, trial your approach to social, and you'll make it. So I like to consider local SEO as the base of my marketing efforts, um, schema, local content, maps, references to local venues, local events, I like to support local venues and artists, constantly promote them and then you build up that trust within your brand. Um, and then with paid, I like to promote these massive ultimate event guides and massive, massive content posts put those on Facebook and it could be, you know, upcoming events for the next six months so you keep the readers entertained that way and you get those clicks. So yeah, I know this has been quite top level, but hopefully it's helped a couple of people out who've just thought, you know, affiliate marketing, it's just going to take too fucking long. Um, or you might just think, you know, I ain't got the time to do the content. You will find the time and you will be able to rank those sites. And just a final consideration as well, don't fuck your site up with AdSense. Um, especially if you're getting really fast hosting a really minimal site and then you just clog it up with AdSense. All right, guys, cheers. I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, so if you guys feel like I've missed anything out, if you want me to do any specific videos on the local SEO side of things, how I go about content, I could run you through a massive content piece, um, the paid social side of Facebook and promoting your content there. Yeah, just drop us a comment below. Uh, if you reckon this was shit, drop me a comment below. I'll love some feedback on that as well. So yeah, nice one guys. I'll catch you next time.